Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial code for beginner course. In this course we will go and make this um, statue. As you can see here, horse, girl and a wild cat I guess and a baby dragon here as you can see and yeah we're gonna have fun all right but before start working inside uh, through the code we need to go and um have a take a take a look at the actual um, software and see how it's working when you open up the 3d code for the first time it's gonna present you uh, with this uh, pop-up in this pop-up you have the um, link that's gonna uh, get you to the uh, pbr material library there's an asset library all free and visit the website a, a quick tutorial not a good tutorial but uh, still uh, surface sculpting if you have any uh, model that you wanted to have a little bit of detail sculpting on top just like zbrush um import as a mesh image as a mesh that's gonna convert the image to mesh and it's gonna cover um, this one uv and painting low poly mesh that's gonna be in another course in this course we're just gonna start sculpting with voxel sculpting then add details final details or fine details with uh, surface sculpting so the only thing we need to do is click on voxel sculpting it's gonna go and get us to a another pop-up you have a empty blank or open up your project you can open up project up here as well new open all here and also and that provided uh, a base mesh several base mesh to start sculpting all right uh, so let's go with the empty blank um canvas so first off uh let me grab the um grid so we can see the actual navigation happening so up here if i hover over on top of the canvas outside of this banding box if you're familiar with the zbrush the banding box here is also working just like the zbrush you don't you don't have you can't have the sculpting effect outside the banding box and this is a safe area just for moving if i hover over here i have several options and the more important things up here is um, this button first of all grid on off and perspective and orthographic view that's going to switch between those two um, camera effect and if i change that as you can see down here right left hand side you can see the orthographic and perspective so you can always check out and see um, which um camera you're in so other things is uh, the texture environment that's gonna light your whole 3d code world i uh, in, imported some of the uh, some of my um hdris but uh, you have at least uh, i guess 10 lighting scenario that you can change between them and also a adjust light angle rotate the light and adjust the light intensity right this one is frame 
and frame inside to the code is a combination of uh, let me push push the hands and see because uh, i have a um key set just for that in my um uh, xp pen tablet so let's see yeah shift a is going to focus on a object and also the five key is gonna switch between orthographic and perspective. For the navigation, we have combination of um, Alt, right click, Alt, middle click for pan, right click for zoom, middle click for pan, and left click without alt or with alt um, for rotation left click right click middle click combine uh, combine that with alt when you are on top of the actual surface of the model so if i quickly add a model let me hit the space and add a primitive to this scene and maybe make it bigger and apply if I go um, on top of the uh, model and start dragging with right click, as you can see, I just changing the brush size. Outside of the model banding box, that's gonna be zoom. But if you wanted to zoom on top of the model, you need to combine the right click with alt outside without alt on top of the model with alt as you can see here if i left click on top of the model as you can see i just start sculpting so uh, that's the combination for navigation all right um let's see one more combination and that would be uh, shift and left click move the mouse or your pen to the right and the left just for rotating the light and i guess there's nothing more you need to know for navigation so yeah on top of the uh, uh, software as you can see we have a drop down if you open up that you will be presented with um, a lot of options as you can see print tweak uv retopo sculpt we are currently in sculpt a room as they say inside to the code render room and retopo room as you can see the op um, options and tools um, changing and maybe paint a room and uv room it's just like the uh, retopo room and back to a sculpt room right that's that beside that you have your usual suspects the file menu new open open recent and your autosave export and import edit the only thing inside edit that's important is preferences if you open up that you will present with a pop-up video uh, sorry a pop-up uh, window and that's gonna be your setting you have your autosave setting and in here there's nothing important in and out you have your normal map software preset this is important just for painting um normal uh, calculation method uh, it's set that to maya and normal map export to the max and other stuff and yeah external to the editor that's uh, connected to the uh, paint room that we're not gonna cover in this course 
that's for another course i will make that course soon and viewport you have your measurement system your measurement units i'm going to set that to centimeter and your background image this is located in the um Didico directory data and texture i guess you can open up your uh, own uh, background image make that in photoshop or some software and load that here also the environment map in you can change that here or inside the environment map up here uh, brushing uh, depends on your um, um, pen tablet input you can change that i'm not using vacuum uh, so i need to uh, set that to windows ink and nothing else in this one 3 demos i don't have any 3 demos connected to the pc so i'm going to skip that and um, as you can see you have several colors and you can change them here if you want tools nothing important and some experimental um, beta uh, options all right it's okay below the menus you have your selected brush all the way to the left top wet clay base clay as you can see and changing that and that's going to change so uh, you have your uh, brush indicator always um, located up here and your brush settings for example the um, study stroke or lazy mouse as you may see in other softwares such as the brush uh, radius of your brush that's gonna change as you can see and, uh, pay attention to this um, uh, number up here with the right click on top of the model you can see your focal shift as you can see if i change the focal shift this curve this red curve inside the circle of the brush size gonna change the um shape so if i go all the way to 100 this is the curve if i go minus 100 not minus 100 here now it's too harsh so ctrl z not ctrl x ctrl z and ctrl z all right let's set that to the default as zero the fall off that's gonna indicate the um, blur outside of your brush all right and your depth this is your brush intensity and you can change that on the fly actually by holding right click and push up and down if i go over here and start sculpting this is my um normal um brush I guess the 50 person is the normal so yeah this is the default 50 and if i go even higher the effect is gonna have more um, powerful appearance all right so we can change that up here or just by holding right click and move your pen or your mouse up and down all right and the only thing important in the sculpt room the only thing left is right hand side one of the uh, important things we not discussed it this is the left hand side your layer sculpt is located in left uh, right hand side so if you make a layer it's going to appear here 
It's going to delete the layer, make a symmetry copy. All right. And resolution up, resolution down, and changing the shader setting. All located down here. And the left hand side, all of your brushes located. You can access them quickly by hitting space. All of those are here. All the way to the bottom. You can scroll all the way down and discover them one by one. I'm going to uh, test all of brush that I uh, planning to use in this course in the next part. So not going to go too deep. And the uh, other thing is a layer down here. The layer only can affect a surface sculpting. We are in voxel sculpting right now, as you can see here, V. So, all right, last, um, let's discuss the sculpting inside the um, 3D code in the next part. Oh, I forget to mention this quick menu up here. That is a pain. Um, I'm not going to use... I'm not I'm not using more often uh, that often uh, uh, this menu is a little bit laggy if I change something it's gonna um, keep the others and show me the new ones it's a little bit laggy uh, I suggest you use window and panel those are the same for example this is the alpha they called a brush panel so if i go to window panel and brushes as you can see it's appear here the same panel so i can go and duck any panel anywhere i want you can see here the um, purple indicator and duck a palette or panel to the sidebar so yeah, that's that. Now let's continue in the next part.